Hi everybody, it's Honey. It's Wednesday and we have only one more day to go. So do not give up, you're doing a great job. And let's just start. We have five new expressions to learn today. Let's start. Hit the road, hit the road, hit the road. It's time to hit the road. Hit the road. Hit the road means to leave or to begin a journey. So in Korean, it means 떠나다 or 출발하다. So for example, you can say, it's 6 o'clock, it's time to hit the road. 6시야, 떠나야 할 시간이야. Or you can say, it's getting late. So let's hit the road. 어, 늦어지고 있어. 늦, 시간이 늦어지고 있어. 음, 떠나자. You can say it like that. So remember, hit the road. Hit the road. Get its feet. Get its feet. Get its feet. I began to get its feet. Get its feet. Have its feet. It means that you um, you really start to want to travel around or do something different. Okay, so in Korean, it means 어, 여행을 가고 싶거나 아니면 떠나고 싶어서 안달하다. Okay, so for example, I've been working here for three years and I start to get itchy feet. It means 나 여기에서 3년 일했어요. 이제 슬슬 떠나고 싶어요. You can say it like that. Okay, so remember, have itchy feet or get its feet. Butter up, butter up, butter up. He buttered up his bows. Butter up. Butter up means to be really nice to someone so uh, that the person do something that you want him or her to do. Okay, so do you like butter? You know, when you butter up something that means like you make something soft or something like really nice so you can do whatever you want to do on that stuff right so butter up means 아첨하다 아부하다 in korea for example he buttered up the boss and got promoted 그는 상사에게 아첨을 해서 승진을 했다 okay so remember butter up Butter up. Egghead. 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 He's an egghead. Egghead. Egghead is like, you know, head looks like an egg. So it used to mean a um, person who doesn't have any hair. But it started to have this negative meaning for somebody who's really smart and who's really smart only in studying. Okay, so in Korean it means 대머리 or 지식인은 지식인데 굉장히 지식인을 비하하는 뜻으로 사용됩니다. So remember, egghead. Egghead. Have a sweet tooth. Have a sweet tooth. Have a sweet tooth. She has a sweet tooth. Have a sweet tooth. Have a sweet tooth means um, to like something sweet. So for example, I love chocolate and candy. I have a sweet tooth. It means 나는 초콜릿과 캔디를 좋아해. 나는 단 것을 좋아하는 사람이야. So when you say I have a sweet tooth, it means 단 것을 좋아하다. Okay? So remember, have a sweet tooth. Have a sweet tooth. Hit the road. Get its feet, have its feet, butter up, egghead, have a sweet tooth. Today we'll read an article about obesity. Let's start. The United Nations says more than 820 million people around the world do not have enough food, while at the same time, obesity rates are reaching record levels. 어, UN이 말하기를 
그 8억 2천만이 넘는 사람들 세계, 세계에 8억 2천만을 넘는 사람들이 충분한 음식을 갖지 못하고 있는데 반면에 그 동시에 어, 비만율은 정말 기록할 만한 수준에 도달하고 있다고 했, 합니다. For the first time, the UN was able to collect data about world obesity rates. 처음으로 UN은 그 세계의 비만율에 대한 데이터를 모을 수 있었습니다. It found that around 830 million people around the world are obese. 어, UN은 발견했는데 8억 3천만의 사람들, 세계적으로, 전 세계적으로 8억 3천만의 사람들이 비만인 것을 알게 됐다고 합니다. Even in Africa and Asia, where hunger rates are the highest, the number of overweight people may soon be higher than the number of hungry people, according to the UN. 심지어 아프리카와 아시아에서도, 근데 아프리카와 아시아는 어떤 곳이냐면, 그 굶주리는 기아율이 가장 높은 그 아시아와 아프리카에서도 그 과체중의 사람들은 사람들의 수는 아마도 어 배고파하는 사람들의 숫자보다 더 높아질 것으로 예상되고 있습니다. 이것은 유엔에 <웃음> 따른 이야기입니다. Graziano da Silva Director General of the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization said that the number of people who are overweight in Africa is rising by 6.3% per year, and the same number in Asia is growing by 7.5% per year. 그 UN의 식량농업기구의 단체장인 그레지아노 다 실바는 말했습니다. 어, 아프리카에서 과체중인 사람의 숫자는 매해 6.3% 늘어나고 있고 어, 아시아의 그 똑같은 그 사람들의 수는 매년 7.5% 늘어난다고 말했습니다. Around 2 trillion dollars is spent every year treating illnesses linked to obesity. 어, 약 2조 정도 가량이 비만과 관련된 질병을 치료하는 데 매년 쓰이고 있다고 합니다. The Silva said that the amount of salt, fat, and sugar in food needs to be reduced and that advertising should be restricted for some foods aimed at children. 다 실바는 말했습니다. 음식에 들어가는 소금이나 그 지방이나 어, 설탕의 양은 줄어져야 하고 그 다음에 어린이를 어린이들을 그 타겟으로 하는 음식에 대한 광고는 규제돼야 한다고 했습니다. He also noted that healthy foods need to be promoted and that it needs to be easier for some population to get them. 어, 그는 또한 말하기를 건강한 음식들은 더욱더 이제 권장이 되어야 하며 그 어, 어, 그런 음식들이 어떠한 그 인구들에게는 더 쉽게 다가갈 수 있어야 한다고 그렇게 어, 이야기했습니다. Okay, guys, that's it for today. And if you like my video, please subscribe me and push the like button. Okay, I bye bye.